This is Twit. <clears throat> We've mentioned this before. This is another Andy and Akko pick, the mm -hmm. Gridit. And you, I, I know you the have grid these. Yep. So I'm not going to I'm not going to belabor the Gridit, but just to show that I have a few things on here. The Gridit is these rubber straps, so it's kind of it's designed that it could hold almost anything. And a couple of things are on here that are very very important. These are earplugs. So if you're if you can't sleep, if it's noisy, or you're going to a rock show, these are hear heed earplugs. They're very good. They're not disposable. They're no, I don't use the disposable ones. These are these are they're on a string and you go and they go in your ear, and they uh, boy a lot of earwax. Sorry about that. This is the earwax show today. I should get those for Marco. He uses the disposable ones. He wears them every night. Yeah, I don't know they're good for that, but they're also good for rock shows. Because I am trying to protect my hearing now that I've lost most of it. I am I wish I'd had these when I was a younger man. Mm -hmm. So that's really handy. And I like the way you could actually put those on your keychain. I like the way they package those. Oh, this is also good. <clears throat> this was a gift to me from Steve Gibson. It's a USB condom <laughs> called the Porta Pow. So a lot of times you do want to charge, right. but you don't want to stick your stuff into strange USB you, ports. You do not want to stick your very, stuff into Very, very dangerous. Yes. So this is a, he calls it a USB condom. You put your USB cable into this end, you put this into the stranger's port, and it only passes power, no data. So it's for charging. It also has, so it's data block, so you can't be hacked. It's only for charging. It also does some smart charge things that it may, in some cases, speed up charge. So that is a really, that is a great thing to have. You just always want to have the camera connection kit for your iPad so I can uh, charge and use USB. Actually, that's not the camera connection kit. That's a USB adapter. Same idea, though. I can charge. Uh, I also have Ethernet. Sometimes you want, you want a little Ethernet. You got to have, here's the camera. No, no. I don't know why I have that. That's... <laughs> In case someday you want to hook up micro USB to lightning. <laughs> Probably don't need that anymore, but I got it, right? Oh, that, I mean, sometimes you just have a lightning port. This is really handy. I got this for the MacBook. Oh, yeah. I've just ordered a new one that has dual uh, USB-C uh, connectors, and then it goes to, that's, you can continue the power charging. Card reader, got to have that mm -hmm. for your photography. And then two type A USB ports. Again, very very useful. The new MacBooks do not have card readers, I'm assuming. They do not. And uh, this is also very useful. This is a micro router. You've heard me talk about the tiny hardware firewall. This becomes your hardware firewall. You connect this to the USB port of your computer and then join it to the Wi-Fi in the hotel or the coffee shop, and it protects you. And you could turn on VPN and Tor as well with this. Very, very handy, tinyhardwarefirewall.com. They have a variety of these. Card reader, of course, Got to have that. I think that's the, and, and this is all stuffed in the grid. Oh, there's the very important type C to lightning. Got to have that because the new laptop can't, in fact, charge your phone. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. What I find amazing about this is that I have the grid it too, but like I'm, I pack for my whole family of five. Basically. Yeah, see, I that's don't just pick. just for you. This is just for me. I don't pack for anybody else. But I do have the larger grid it because we <clears throat> Although, need several. I have learned. Before we leave, Lisa and I have a little negotiation. Mm. Should I say, how many devices are you bringing? Are you bringing chargers and cables, or do you expect me to bring them? Uh. And I need to get that very clear. We also negotiate who carries the toothpaste and who carries the deodorant. Mm -hmm. We share. Uh, I carry these in case anybody wants an autograph. So far, I've had these for several years. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, they're a little bent up. But well if... But in case... Well, I think now that people know that you carry them around no, with you... nobody wants these. Well, they had no idea. Now, watching this, when they see you, they won't say... They'll Same say, ones. Okay, but nice. they're thin. They're light. I've been carrying them for years. Uh, oh, there's so many things that I could have some fun what with. What about your business cards? Where do you carry those? I have a, a, a nice, actually, a business card case hmm. that I carry. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's in here or not. Uh, did I say I had all the cables already? No. <laughs> No, you're missing some a very important. Very cable. important. There's one. There's one cable to rule them all. These are from Nomad. I love these. Look at this. This was so useful on uh, my last trip with my son of the Caribbean because we had a variety of phones and a variety of things oh, to connect yeah. it into. Micro USB, Lightning, or Type C. You pick to Type A. They're also braided. They're a little expensive. They're thirty bucks, but they uh, they last forever because they're braided cable and they don't kink. 
They don't twist. They don't. Uh, so I have several nomads. These are really, 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 really handy. Um, this is just, you know, extra in case I need. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. See, why do I, where are all these micro? Oh, I know why. Some of my stuff. I try to buy. No, this isn't. I try to buy stuff that's only type C charging mm -hmm. like this BO play. Uh, because I, I don't want to have to charge anything. But every once in a while I have a micro. I'll show you. I have one micro USB thing. player thing? How does yep. that charge? Micro USB. You mm -hmm. nailed it. It's the FIO. Uh, you never know when you might need an Ethernet cable. You mm -hmm. never know when you might need another Type C to Lightning cable. Mm -hmm. And then this is a carefully curated bag of dongles. By the way, <laughs> notice I have a tile on here. Mm -hmm. I used to have a tracker. Now I have a tile. I don't know why. I just somebody sent me that. I thought, well, what the hell? Yeah. I have a tracker in here, so I got both. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of like, I, I'm. T it's like belt and suspenders. It's tile and tracker. Yeah. That's right. Smart. Got them both. Very smart. Don't want to lose anything in this. This has so many crazy things. Uh, this is a on-the-go USB multifunction card reader. It will read micro SD. It will read SD. Oh. It will read it to USB Type A. It will read it to Type micro USB. It does all sorts of stuff. This is like, they're cheap. These are cheap. Lots more of these because you can never have too many mm -hmm. lightning to headphone jacks. Uh, this is yours, John. <laughs> oh. Eight gigabyte uh, USB key. This is my USB key bag. You know, this bag is important. There's a, something you might notice about this bag. It's sheer. It's see-through. Yeah, nice. Because you see all the little things I have in mm -hmm. here? For crying out loud, do you want to have to dump this out every single time? No. But this way you can say, I know it's in here somewhere, and you can and you can find it. This is another, I probably don't need to carry this as well. This is another tiny hardware firewall. Uh, lightning to, oh, this is weird. This is for a particular computer. The Lenovo Yoga has a, has a non-proprietary Ethernet. This is annoying that I have to buy and carry this. Mm -hmm. So, again, whenever possible now, when I'm looking at stuff to buy and carry, I get non-proprietary stuff because mm -hmm. it's just you do need a lot of these USB A to C uh, con, you know cables this is USB to mic to a s micro USB I have a lot of adapters like that card readers galore because well you just never can find it this is a nice one this is metal aluminum USB to C type A to type C but again because I you know you use this a lot because there's so many devices now we're kind of in the middle what do you think that is this is really handy what do you think that is? That is an ETH, a uh, Wi-Fi oh. card. So you plug that into the USB port or uh, like on that laptop, and it adds Wi-Fi. It's a TP-Link 802.11 AC Wi-Fi adapter. Look at that. So you don't, if your Wi-Fi is not working or whatever, you can put that in there and it's, you got Wi-Fi. <laughs> more of these, lots more of these. You never know when you're going to need those. Those are just USB things. This you always need. Oh, for resetting things? <laughs> Oh, actually, yes. One reason you might need it, resetting things. This actually is a tool for uh, taking links out of watch bands. Oh. But it happens to be just the right size for popping SIM cards. Oh, yeah. And because it has a nice handle that I'm not going to lose, it's a little bit nicer than... So I keep that around, too. You never know when you need to change the SIM card. Mm -hmm. More uh, Type 3. Oh, just in case I label these with the operating systems, just in case I have to, you know, it reinstall... Mm -hmm. Type C. So these are like these are you get the idea in here. These are mostly little, little pieces of things, little dongly. This is a Logitech uh, Universal. If you have a Logitech mouse, notice I don't carry a mouse, but I used mm -hmm. to carry a mouse. If you have a Logitech mouse or Logitech keyboard, you just put this in the USB port, and that'll work uh, with any kind of Logitech device. Oh man, what a this mess! This is like the jerk. Like, and I take this, and <laughs> I'll take this. Well, you, you know what? <laughs> You'll be laughing on the other side of your no, cheekbones I know. when you say, hey, Leo, I need a USB to go to type C adapter. And I say, well, no problem. It's right here in my little ditty bag. Yeah. You just, you'll be, you'll be, I'm not even close to that. Well, I hope not because you're missing a major cable. You keep, and I'm really worried about it because I've recently forgotten one and I was in trouble. What is that? The Apple Watch charger. Oh, well, here's a couple of things. I always pack the Apple Watch charger, but this is... I showed you this before, a portable Apple oh, Watch charger. Oh, that's nice. So you charge that up. It's got one charge. It goes on your keychain. Probably what I should do is hook this onto something so I don't lose it. Mm -hmm. But that way, on the airplane, if the watch dies, because it's like a 12-hour flight, this will give you a whole other day. And that charges with lightning. 
Uh, yes. Nope. See, micro, that's the micro uh, USB. Why would they do why, that? Why, 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 you might ask. Why? Why, I ask you. Why? Yeah, so, I ask you why. What's nice is it's just like the Apple one. Mm -hmm. So it goes, it's magnetic, right? Mm -hmm. And so you know it's on there, and it charges it right up there like that, except it's dead. <laughs> Before I go, I charge everything. I don't expect to be needing this. Although you're right, I probably should have a Sunday night ritual where yeah. I plug all this stuff in. Right, that would be nice. You'll like, find a few of the things in my bag. Reset your router and plug every dead. charge everything up. And this is dead, for instance. What's that? You might wonder. What do you I think do. that is? It's a light, like just in case you get lost. What if? What if you want to take a selfie and it's dark? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this goes right on there over the over the camera. And it's a light ring, and then it keeps you... It's not dead. It's goodness. not dead. Thank goodness. I can now... This is for the glamour selfie. Mm -hmm. I believe I got this idea from Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. Or it might be Chloe. Yeah, she has a case that... like yeah. a, a, the, yes. the, Lume, the Lume, Again, I think. another ridiculous yeah. micro USB. Yeah. But what the heck, you know? You have a lot of things to charge micro USB. I'm ready. Yeah. The three different settings, depending on how bright you are. You're not going to take a selfie to prove how great it is? <laughs> you, want, you want me to take a selfie? Yes, please. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just need to see if it works. <laughs> uh, okay. See, the thing is, it doesn't block the camera, right? Right. Now, That's I'm smart. pretty bright, but there's this bright thing behind me, so I think oh, yeah. brightness, too, would be oh. good. See that? That's a really good angle, too, from underneath. <laughs> well, I have oh, yeah, to do you it wanna, that yes. way. Yes. There you go. Okay. There you go. You, could, uh, uh, you couldn't do, uh, couldn't have done that yeah, with our without studio. the light ring. Oh, yeah. That's great. See how nicely lit I am? <laughs> yeah. See how dark John is? Yeah. Yeah. That's the <laughs> SLR. You could get these on Amazon. I don't even know if SRL is, is like the brand or what, but they're $4. Secret research laboratories is what <clears> it is. It is. They're survival. You. Survival. Oh, survival. And actually, if that's not enough... This is a crazy, wacky thing I have here. These are, and they're cheap. This is, uh, what, what do you think that is? It's not a Raspberry Pi. What do you think that is? I I'll show you. I don't know. Are you going to build your it's own iPhone? It's crazy. Today? Now, if I only had the right size dongle, I could show you. What? <laughs> what the heck could this be? All right, let's get the laptop out. I have, unfortunately, I have purchased a laptop with four Type-C, and that's it. Oh. Which is cuckoo. Oh, but I'm going to plug dongle. in my special doohickey, and then I'm going to plug this in. What do you think will happen? I don't know. You'll get a virus. Uh, <laughs> You'll light. It'll be a light. It's a light. light. <gasps> it's an LED oh. light. Look oh, at that. come and on! And look how many I have. Some are daylight. Some are uh, warm yellow glow. And if you have enough ports, you can just keep going. Whoops! You should plug it in the right way, though. And then now, how now? How much would you pay? <laughs> Look at that. Uh, uh, this, that's why I'm getting a new one of these. It's just not as secure as it should oh. be. Look oh, at that. Oh, oh. One's one's daylight. One's one's uh, you know warm light. What do you think? <laughs> I think that's really impressive. Are you blind? You need them in USB C. I know. I wish they made. It. Stop it. <laughs> wish. Go away. No. Oh. God. Wish they made them like that. Seriously, I, you could be like stuck anywhere with that. Look, bag at, I could for land months. an airplane with these. Yeah, you could just put them all the way down the runway. Isn't that great? And mm -hmm. they're cheap. They're just fit to like a quarter each. You can get as many of them as you need, or more. All right, what else? <laughs> oh, this is really important. Thank you. Just like that. <laughs> what do you think that is? It's a pen. It's a pen for autographing. Oh, yeah. Of, but, and you want to save your calluses, so you put a little cushion on no, it for yourself. No, this is gaffer's tape. Oh. It's a cheap paper tape. This Johnny Jet told me about this, travel guru. You need a little gaffer tape in your life at all times yeah. because things happen like luggage uh -huh. gets breaks or gets a hole in it. Your pants you got, got a some, hole in them. You got pants. Oh, this is great for that. And the thing about gaffer's tape, not duct tape. Duct tape is too sticky mm -hmm. and leaves residue behind. Gaffer's tape does not. And it's fabric, so it tears... Right along the fabric like that, you see? That's What's the difference between painter's tape and gaffer's tape? Painter's tape is paper. Okay. This is like canvas. Oh. But otherwise similar in that it... And so what if I developed a hole in my bag? Mm-hmm. Perfect. 
Oh, yeah. You never even know. In fact, yeah. maybe I'm just going to leave that there because it's a sign of status. Yeah. That's it. And it, it really and, is. and it removes without leaving any unsightly residue. And then can you reuse it? or not? Well, you I wouldn't, wouldn't, but yeah. you could, I guess. Uh, it's, che it's not cheap. It's cheapish. But it's more expensive but than see, painters. But see, the do. idea is I don't want to take a whole roll of mm -hmm. this. I just want enough to repair some luggage, maybe. You know what it's also good for? You know, you get you check in a hotel room and they've got all these little mm -hmm. lights and things. I always unplug the radio now. But there's little LED lights and all the TVs and stuff. You just tear off a little strip of this and you and you could just tape over those. Like make a little this is like little LED covers. And I can just get cover up all the lights in the room because I, I know, as you do, mm -hmm. that light in the room is death to sleep. Oh. Right? Now I go around. Don't put it over the uh, smoke detector. Okay. Okay, just a little tip. But now you can go around and uh, and and block off all those LEDs. But plus, because it removes without res residue, they'll never know. And you can like close the curtain. You know, sometimes the curtain kind of <laughs> tape open the curtain a bit closed. Think of all the uses. A million and one uses. In fact, maybe bring two of these because <laughs> they're so darn handy. I'm not done. Are you want more? Do you have time? I, yeah, we've got time. Checkbook. Never use it. But look at this. <laughs> On the checkbook, a Fisher space pen, it writes upside down. Oh, great. If you could also <clears> get stuck in space. I'm glad to If know. I'm stuck in space. And look at that, the easy retract mechanism. That's, if anyone is watching this and they know anyone who writes mystery or thriller <laughs> novels, they should watch this because a lot of this could be used. It's like Batman's in, utility yeah. belt. Yeah. Just a few little things, okay? You need a 360-degree camera. I probably will bring the GoPro Fusion. It's a little bit bigger. This is the old Sam, not that old, Samsung old. 360. It's the old 360 <clears throat> Type-C charging, very important. That's really handy. You hold it up, it takes a 360 picture or video. It's really nice to have that. And see how compact that is? Mm -hmm. Very, very, oh, this has one extra feature I really think is cute. See this rubber thing? It's not just so you won't lose it. It also fits the bottom and makes a little stand. Oh. Isn't that cute? It's genius. Genius. Take that, Kim Kardashian. How many phones will you bring? Like one Android, Two. one? Two. One, I bring a Google Fi uh, Pixel 2 XL. Fi, as you know, has free, unlimited, not free. It's just, it's It doesn't charge you for international use. It's the same everywhere. And then I bring, of course, I have to bring my iPhone 10. But that's on T-Mobile, same thing. I also, and I didn't, it's not in here, I also bring my little orange puck mm -hmm. that gives me uh, Wi-Fi access in uh, almost every country in the world uh, for... Uh, Either <clears throat> either uh, $13 a day, I think it is, or $99 a month. So I just buy the month because I'm gone. This is very handy. Now, not everybody will need one of these. This is from Shure. This is their M uh, their Motive series. This is a Shure microphone with a lightning connector. <clears throat> so it turns your iPad or your iPhone into a recording studio. I can actually, sometimes I have to record uh, commercials. I've used this to do that. You could also use it to do uh, vlogging and ambient uh, get some ambient sound, whatever. It it is a very high quality condenser mic. That uh, is, look how compact that is, and it gets all of its power from the iPad or iPhone. It works on an iPhone too. That's the Shure M O T I V. They have a whole bunch of them. I think this is the M V eighty eight. I'm not done. I know. I can see you're getting antsy. No, I still have I'm a few not. more things. No. <clears throat> this I have never been able to get through TSA. You want to know why? Well, look at it. <laughs> But Look they don't make you thing. give it up. You have to just put it in No, your, you just you put it in your carry-on. Unfortunately, you have to. But you can't keep it in your carry-on. Oh, you have to put it in your... Not, it's okay. not your carry-on. You put it in your uh, check. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because it is a multi-tool. Yeah. So it's got wrench. It's got all the different uh, screwdrivers, bottle openers. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife on steroids. It just goes and it goes. And I'll tell you what. I found very handy this. Oh, no. That's the saw. That will... I did find it handy. That'll cut a French baguette. Oh. And then this, <laughs> once you got the baguette cut, you cut some uh, cut some fingernails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not the one <laughs> I want. Don't cut the baguette with the don't same. Don't cut, cut the baguette with the scissors. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's for punching holes in belts. You don't have to do that if you have a slide belt. Mm -hmm. True. That's a very tiny screwdriver. Look at this thing. This is a Victorinox. It's from the people who do Swiss Army. It is not a Gerber. It has a plus head. This is the one I found also very handy. Uh, if anybody needs to cut the cheese, you're ready. Mm -hmm. And actually, 
but the the saw for the baguette and this for cutting a nice slice of Comte cheese, I used that in the last trip. It was fabulous. Have you ever had to pull a tooth with that part? You could. Of if you had to, you could. Okay. Like this. <laughs> Come here. Give me your teeth. Mm. Isn't that nice? Isn't that handy to have that? It is. That is the Victorinox. Is. There's a bunch of different multi-tools. I happen to like this one, especially because of the case. The pouch made in Hecho in Mexico. And this has a belt loop, which I wouldn't recommend trying to get through TSA on their belt. I mentioned this before, the Loom Cube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, off-camera light. So, if, you know, if you don't want to do the selfie thing, you use this. Uh, you can, and also can be used as an emergency to get around the room. And it has a, a tripod... Uh, screw hole so you could actually put this on a tripod usb chargeable but it's waterproof and so the usb charger is underneath the sealed waterproof screw usb c or not c no mm -hmm. micro dang it you're right i do have a lot of mm -hmm. it's the legacy stuff that'll get you every yeah. time so you have to bring a few micro maybe 2025 20, you won't what i'll it. tell you what i check besides the uh multi-tool in the checked luggage i also bring the Apple Watch charger. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> By the way, here's a little tip. You know, I get the flat one mm -hmm. that folds up. Have you seen that one? Mm -hmm. And your wedding ring goes right in that hole there. Oh. And so you got your watch and your ring. I always need somewhere to put my wedding ring. Why do you take it off? Uh, I don't like to sleep with my wedding ring on mm -hmm. at night in case, you know, somebody comes and visits. <laughs> no, <laughs> because it constricts the blood flow. Okay. So this is, uh, no, it is a type C. Well, I can't tell. It might, it might be a micro. It might be a type. But yeah, whatever. sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, you have to just keep putting things in there until something happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, one more thing. Cookie, cookie, lend me your comb. Uh, Gotta have a comb. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, if, I mean, you have the microphone, you have the <clears throat> loom light. If you're going to do some, you know... Selfies. Recordings, you need... Normally, to and, I, you know, I'm a little bereft because I've been switching bags. Normally, I will also have a Gorillapod... A tripod suitable for a phone. Very important to have that. A selfie stick. Got to have that. Uh, and a nail file, hmm. which is handy if you get locked out or if your nails get too long. Mm -hmm. Or uh, if you need to stab someone. Stab somebody. And this this is for the GoPro. I don't oh. Know why that's in there. <laughs> okay. Is that everything, folks? I think gracious. I've I think I've emptied emptied my go bag. There's quite a quite a pile of stuff here. Uh, I'm ready to go. 